wanted to wash it yesterday and we got busy trying to finish up with a customer's car and it got too late and I had plans of going to Cars and Coffee this morning but I put my alarm on for 5 a.m. walked outside it was absolutely pouring so I brought my son here to help me hi we're gonna help uh, we're gonna wash the car right yeah. so we're gonna use the pressure washer and the Adams foam cannon and give the Corvette and the wheels a wash I got the new tires put on and the wheels haven't been washed since the they have that kind of like soap on that they use to install the tire so tell me to buckle the seatbelt so you want to help wash it yep do you want to run the so the foam cannon yeah that's the one that sprays the super duper thick foam that helps dissolve the dirt that sounds like fun right yeah all right let's get the pressure washer out and get everything hooked up all right so i'm going to use the adams foam cannon ultra foam shampoo this is fantastic great combination let me hook this up and then I'll let my assistant here demonstrate. See, I want one of these for the shower. Imagine this in your shower. I think we should get one of these for the house. Yeah. This is it right here. It has the dust tray in there. See what I'm doing? So I'm looking at myself. Again, we soap it up. Just do a real, real light clean on the car. Okay, so now I'm going to use the air blower and blow it off. Can you see me? I'm going to blow it off. I don't want to rub it with anything or use a chamois or a drying cloth. Once it's all dry, I might do a real soft cloth just to kind of go over it. But you watch how easy it beads and the water blows off. You watch this. So now we're all clean. What do you think? What should we do now? Um, maybe go look at the new plane you built. This <laughs> is so supposed to be about a Corvette. I'll show you in another episode. There's a new plane I've been working on, a new FPV plane. And he's really excited about seeing it. So we'll go take a look at that. But I just dried this off. Two reasons I use the leaf blower. One, you're not putting any pressure on the paint. Uh, even with a soft cloth, the more you rub on the paint, the more swirls you put into it, even if it's a really soft cloth. I try not to touch the paint any more than I have to 
the car has been color corrected and that was in an early episode presidential detail did a full color correction and a ceramic coat which makes just clean it in a breeze i use the adams foam cannon and again a real real light cloth it doesn't really see a whole lot of rain or dirt so of course it's like a typical clean keep it nice for the next guy so it keeps it clean and it doesn't take long to wash it so i'm going to go ahead and give it a quick wipe over and hit it with a real real light mist of, uh, of detail spray just to make sure there's no water spots i'll show you around the car real quick I mean, it really does make cleaning a breeze. Definitely recommend the ceramic coat. Find a good detail shop. Of course, you know, I've used Adams products to keep up on my cars. It also makes life so much easier using the better product. I talked about these exhaust tips before. And again, I really like the way they turned out. They definitely suit the car. You get a different angle here. The suit the car, it fills in the back. They're definitely a more aggressive tip without being obnoxious. I looked at some of the other exhaust companies out there and some of them use massive tips. These are a four inch tip. The factory is three and a half, so it's only a little bit larger, but again, just a little subtle change makes a big difference. Just like some of the other things I did in the car, you know, I did a real light tint on the tail lights. They're the LED tail lights. And you kind of see in this light, they're still red. They're not that jet black overpainted look so they're still functional and you can see them in the daytime of course the side markers i did black front also did the led lights in the front the ones that changed color which again i really like let me see if i can kick those on and you can see them so you see that look how bright they are they're almost as bright as the headlights so it gives it a nice clean look, more modern look. So the tips, I talked about those tips. All right, so these are the tips that we're selling. We actually have a bunch of these in. I just finally got with the manufacturer and ordered a bunch here. So what we're doing is putting these together in pairs. Not only does it make it super easy to install, it makes the alignment much easier. They're perfect, already paired together. That way they look perfect when you put them on. You can't really see these. They're stainless, 100% stainless, welded and fully polished inside and out. And these welds here, the tack welds are stainless also. So there's no rust and it makes it easy to polish. You see they've already got a nice polish on there. I'll show you the tips on my car real quick. They're just water spotted. I'll show you how quick and easy it is to clean these things. All right, so these have been on the car for about 200 miles now. They're still fairly clean, but they get, you know, the black carbon in there and the soot. And uh, this is a product I really like for doing stainless exhaust tips. There's a bunch of ones out there. This is just one I really like, the red. There is a few different colors, and I think it uh, is for a medium cut or a harsh cut. This is what I found is perfect on stainless and get super easy to use. So what you're gonna do, get a little bit, Put on your cloth right here. And again, you don't really have to polish it in. I just kind of wipe it around there. And the more you do this, the easier it is to clean the next time. They sell all kinds of polishing kits that you hook to your drill, which definitely makes life easier if the tips are pretty dirty. But, you know, like most owners, if you're really, really into your car, you tend to clean it a lot, don't get a lot of driving outside in the dirt, they don't get that dirty. But that's it, basically rub this stuff on. You don't really have to wait to polish it off. Just go ahead, polish it, look at that. Uh, those of you that have the dark, like darker colors, like the charcoal, especially the black, you'll know what I mean about cleaning it and trying not to rub the paint or do anything that will swirl it. So my wash technique, again, some people have their own ideas how to wash it. Again, everybody has their own opinion. It works for me, and I produce very, very minimal swirls, and it gets the car clean. But of course, the ceramic really makes the big difference here.
All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's just a quick introduction of what I'm doing and the exhaust tips. These are ready to go, by the way. Go ahead and contact us at lhtsales at aol.com. Talk to Esther. She will hook you up with these. We have about five sets ready to go in stock. Again, super easy installation. Take it to your local muffler shop, cut off the tips, weld these on, just cut them exactly right across there. These are actually just a hair larger diameter, so it makes it super easy to install. You put these on and they line up perfect. Makes your life so much easier. Again, LHT sales at AOL.com, or you can call us at 727-344-1800. That's the end of the video, right? Yep. Should we go for a drive? Yeah. All right. Let's do it.